Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at satellite motion. So let's get started. It says here that satellites are held in orbit around the Earth as a consequence of the Earth's gravitational force, which provides a centripetal force on the satellite. And you should remember about centripetal force and centripetal acceleration from the rotational motion topic. And the idea is that centripetal forces are required to keep things moving in circles. And it's also the case that for satellites to keep those orbiting around planets, they must have a centripetal force causing that motion. This means we can equate the expression for gravitational force of attraction to the expression for centripetal force. So if we write down those expressions, we have gmm over r squared, Newton's law of universal gravitation, is equal to mv squared over r, where small r is the orbit radius, i.e. how far away the satellite is from the centre of the planet. And since v equals r omega for circular motion, we can also write gmm over r squared is equal to mr omega squared. So remember this was another expression for centripetal force in terms of the angular velocity omega. It then says to note that it may be useful to remember that omega is equal to 2 pi over t for circular motion, as this allows for the period t of the satellite to be calculated. That is, gmm over r squared is equal to mr times 2 pi over t squared, where all we've done there is substitute 2 pi over t in for our omega in this expression. It then says, putting all of the above together for satellites, we can write f is equal to gmm over r squared, which equals mv squared over r, which is also equal to mr omega squared, which equals mr times 2 pi over t squared, where the symbols have their usual meanings. Now, it's worth pointing out that you don't get this whole thing on the relationship sheet in the exam, but you do get the individual parts of these ones. So you do get that f equals gmm over r squared, you do get that f equals mv squared over r is equal to mr omega squared for centripetal force, and the new term there is not on the relationship sheet. But all you need to remember is that it's useful to substitute in 2 pi over t for omega into this relationship for centripetal force and often equate this to the gravitational force of attraction gmm over r squared in order to say rearrange for the period t of the motion or one of the masses for example. Lastly it can also be shown that the total energy of a satellite in motion is given by this expression e total equals minus gmm over 2r where the total energy is equal to the kinetic energy plus the gravitational potential energy and you'll show that this is the case in one of the worked examples. That's all for this video folks I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.